this is one of the things that's most frustrating and painful as a coach when you put yourself out there and you are excited and actually someone grab a discovery call with you but then at the end of the calendar someone just canceled it or even no show if that is what you are struggling with today we are going to talk about how to fix that and how to increase your show up rate to your discovery call so that you can get more paying clients. I mean, isn't that the ultimate goal of what we want, right? So I came up with this topic and I felt it was compelling for me to talk about it because in the past where I struggle is not getting people to book the call, but actually get them to show up, right? That was my first year when I was in my coaching business, I was trying to get people to show up on my discovery call. And back then I called it discovery call. So today we're going to talk about that. And if you are new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love working with female coaches, mindset, leadership coaches, like you are my favorite people to work with because you're passion driven. Yeah, some of you are multi passion even, and you know exactly what you want in your coaching business. And what does that life look like for you? So you are someone that I absolutely love and adore. I help them to simplify their marketing strategy so that they can get seen, get heard and get more paying clients. And this topic came up because I was having conversation and someone had asked, how do I better manage my discovery call so that I can have less of the cancellation and people actually show up. And in fact, I was actually on another coaching call with one of my clients and we also went into this. So I wanted to bring it to you so that you can increase your show up rate and also people jumping onto your call so that you can close them and start booking them and hopefully you'll get paid to do this. <laughs> All right, so question number one is how do you manage your scheduling link and how do you avoid the misuse or ensuring that people are actually showing up? That's probably the most frustrating things is you have this calendar link and you send it out there, someone grab a call, but they don't show up. Why is that? So there's a couple of things I want you to uh, think about. One is how are these people getting onto your call in the first place? Are you someone who just simply display your discovery call everywhere? And so I know a lot of coaches put their calendar link on their Instagram as their first book a call with me. And a lot of time, people who are on Instagram, they are complete stranger to you, people who don't know much about what you do. And so what they do is maybe they come across a single post and they feel compelled. They feel, oh, you spoke about something that may be helpful to me, maybe helpful to me. So what, what do they do? They next thing that you know, they go and look at your Instagram bio and there's a link book a call. They're curious about what you do. They're not really committed. They don't fully understand what is it that you can offer them. So what do they do? Because it's a maybe so it and it's convenient for them. So they'll go ahead and grab that calendar and they'll book a call. Because it's a maybe, there is not a whole lot of commitment that was built into it, right? They see that as a maybe, they're just curious about uh, what life coaching is, and then maybe they're just wanting to test it out to see if your calendar works. And I kid you not, I had someone who booked a call like way back, and the reason why they booked a call was they put down curious. <laughs> so if that is you, I want you to think about how are these people getting to your calendar? Are you someone who just openly share your calendar and hopefully that will increase the possibility of people booking you? If that is the case, then it, it makes sense. You don't have a quality control, right? So how do you do quality control? First of all, do you have a way to screen them to who is going to get onto your calendar? Your time is valuable. And if you're someone like me who work full-time jobs somewhere else, and so throughout the week, you'll probably don't have a whole lot of time to, to, to pick up these discovery calls. So you want to be very strategic about how people get onto your call, 
when do you do these discovery call? And you want to make sure that these are the right people who deserve to have a spot on your calendar. So how do you screen them? Now, most of the time, you're probably going to hear that the way that you screen them is you have some pre-built, pre-qualification questions built into your calendar. So one of the common calendar tools that most coaches use is probably going to be Calendly. Nowadays, there's a lot of different platforms. I won't go too much into it, but the most common one is probably Calendly. Calendly had improved so much since I started using it years ago that they had a lot of built-in function that allows you to do the notification, the follow-up, the tracking, and everything. Right. So if you're someone who's using Calendly, then I'm going to share my screen real quick here. That would be what Calendly does. The, 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 the dashboard would look like. Right. So you can set up multiple different calendars. And on the left side, you're going to see workflow. So the workflow is where you can set up tools and notification and follow through and tracking depending on the calendar type that you have built. So if I were to create a workflow, and I believe this is a pay uh, version only, so you do have to subscribe to Calendly in order to have this function open. So you would create a workflow and the workflow is going to allow you to have different type of notifications sent to the person who's booking a call with you. So you can send an email reminder to the invitee, the person who's booking a call. You can send thank you email. You can also ask for a feedback, how did our session goes you can also send them text reminder right if that's important to you then you can also set up a notification to remind them hey you book a call with me so don't forget so that's under the workflow under Calendly now if you use something else that's with a different calendar system you can also look into workflow or sometimes they'll call it automation automation allows you to set up these notifications so that you can remind the person who's booking a call hey you got a call coming up and you'll even and ask them, is this a good time? Do you want to reschedule it? So it'll actually allow them to reschedule sometimes. So that's under workflow or automation, uh, depending on which calendar system that you use. Calendly, to me, it's simple. If you're not a tech savvy person, I would highly recommend looking into Calendly because it doesn't require a lot of setup. It's already done for you. So you don't have to worry about setting it up. Okay, so Calendly is a great way and it set up the reminder to remind these people who book a call that, hey, you have a call. Now, now, that does not ensure people actually show up, right? How many of us have received email to an event or a text me reminder message? And what do we do? <laughs> Life got too busy. We got pulled away for something else and we completely forgot and we don't show up. So, which makes perfect sense why sometimes when people book a call with you, no matter how many notifications that you send to them, they won't show up because it's not important to them. And so your question may be, well, okay, great, Michelle, you told me about the workflow, you told me about the reminder, you told me about the notification that I can set up, but how do I actually ensure that they do show up? Okay. So this is going to be very complex and I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So so the way that you tell people to show up or you ensure that they actually show up is you want to position your call to be something that's valuable. Well, it is in fact valuable. It's not just a discovery call, right? Because essentially this person is probably going to feel a shift, she feel a change, feel something that spark in their life like they can see the light at the end of the tunnel and just do that conversation with you so your call is valuable but you need to be able to articulate and demonstrate that value so that they will want to jump onto the call no matter what gets into their way right and so how do you do that <laughs> how do you do that first of all stop calling it discovery call <laughs> That is probably your step number one is to stop calling it a discovery call. A lot of clients, when they hear discovery call, what are you going to discover? Like, are you going to discover like how much money I have? Or are you going to discover like, do I need to go to a psychiatrist, <laughs> right? So what are you discovering? So discovery call is very vague and doesn't tell me much about what we're going to do. So when I work with my clients, I usually recommend them to call it something else. 
something else that you're actually going to help your client, your potential client accomplish. So you'll notice that I don't call my discovery call a discovery call. I call my discovery call a strategy call. Why do I call it a strategy call? Because it's a strategy call where I'm going to walk you through and look at what your current uh, coaching business is at. And we're going to actually map out a, a plan that we can work together, right? So it's a very strategic way of how I'm helping you to get you to see what are some of the rooms that you can improve and where your marketing hole that we need to fill. So it's not a discovery where I'm discovering you, I'm discovering me, you're discovering me. Yes, we do all that, but we do more than just that on our strategy call. Of course, uh, through our conversation, I'm going to get a sense of who you are and whether or not you want to hire me and I want to actually sign you up as a client, right? It, that's given inside that call. But the goal of that call is not just to like discover if you're a good fit. The goal for that call, I want you to be able to walk away with something that's tangible, something that you and I can work towards. Right? So I don't call my calls discovery call. I call them strategy call for that reason. And first of all, you need to change your name and, and give it a more valuable name <laughs> other than discovery call. Now, the other way that you can ensure that this is the right client who's jumping on the call is you can have some built in question or screening question. I call them pre qualification question. You want to qualify them before you actually meet with them, right? What are some of those qualifiers? I have people booking a call in the past, but they don't have the budget to work with the coach. Okay. Now, when you have a built-in pre-qualification question like that, you're essentially getting a sense of where, where they are financially. Are they able to hire you as a coach? If not, you might be able to send them to some uh, Facebook group or some free resources that you have created that would help them to get unstuck right? But they might not be able to pay you or hire you. Now it's up to you how you want to handle it. Typically I would send them to uh, my free resources where they can get started. And once they get ready, they get started, they, they have some initial result, then they can have the budget and they can start working with me, right? So there's a lot of different way when you have built in pre-qualification questions that would also help you to be a little mindful of your time and also the person who's booking the call, their time. Um, do you want to walk someone through and then up onto the sales call and that person won't be able to pay you? You just wasted each other half an hour of time for no reason. And so I would highly recommend, number one is to change how you describe your discovery call. Number two is to have some pre-qualification built in onto your calendar so that you know exactly um, how you can support that person, okay? Maybe it's something of free resources that you can send to them, or maybe it's something else like a payment plan, then that's something that you can discuss on the, to something else. And, and that's about providing value. So when people jump onto the strategy call, there's something that's more that they can actually walk away with. So maybe it's a life, a wheel of life tool that you can give them. Then make sure that when they book a call, they know that they're going to walk away with a wheel of life. Okay. So you see how even with the wheel of life, it's like they can download it and they can do that on their own. But if you offer that as part of your strategy call or your clarity call, then you wanted to make sure that you mentioned that by the end of the call, you're walking away with a wheel of life. Now, just by saying that increases the value of why people should be booking a call with you, because I'm not just coming here to have a chat with you. I'm actually walking away with something in my hand that I can use. Okay. So just take a moment and think about that. Right? That just increased the value of why people should jumping onto a call with you. And so if you are someone who's maybe like a first year to the third years, and you've been calling it a discovery call, and you've been struggling to get people to keep their appointment, and there's no cancellation, then I want you to think about how your current process is to get people to jump onto your calendar. How are they finding you, right? Maybe you like, just randomly and throughout your calendar everywhere, then of course, people who don't know much about you, they're going to be like really curious about what this call is about. So they'll book a call, but is it really important to them? Probably not, right? And a couple of two videos ago, 
I had talked about that value of why people should be booking a call with you is built before they even jump onto the call, right? So if you're able to build that value and demonstrating、uh, why they should go to you before they even get to that book a call button, you automatically increase your showing up success rate. Okay, so that's one. Your value is built before they book a call, and at the time of booking the call or getting the access to your calendar. Are you able to demonstrate what are they getting out of, right? Are they getting out of something that they can hold, something that is possibility for them? Is it a dream? Is it a hope? What is it that they'll be able to walk away with? That would also increase your success rate on the show up rate. Okay, and then you want to have some built-in、uh, pre-qualification question. A lot of these calendars will allow you to set that up. So Calendly has that pre-built. If you were to schedule. Uh, create a calendar link, right? You can actually have some pre-built questions built into this. So let's say I'm gonna do a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to have some pre-built. So this is a test call. I'm just do a gonna do a demo real quick, and so it's gonna walk you through. And here under scheduling, right? You you'll have invitee questions. You can set up. And you can ask them, pre-filter them, pre-qualify them before you even grab a spot on your calendar. So that would also increase your show-up rate、um, dramatically because unless people are actually committed, chances are they don't want to take the time to answer your questions, right? So those are the three key things that's going to help you to increase your show-up rate. How do you manage it? How do people get access to your calendar? Are you screening them with some pre-qualification question, and are you still calling it a discovery call? Can people see any values of jumping on that call? Maybe it's a real life that you're giving them. Maybe it's a strategy, a tool, or maybe it's your initial steps of how you can get started. What is it that they're going to get from that call? Tell them something that they are actually be helpful that they can walk away with on that call. And if you're someone who's like even struggling to get people onto that call in the first place because you're still like kind of new to this whole coaching game and you're trying to figure out what your niche is, I want you to comment down below with the word clarity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a link to check out the discover your niche. So I take on these are the one-on-one -on -one clients I have, and all we have to do is really talk like. We need to get a clarity on your niche to get people to sign up and wanting to book a call, right? And through that conversation, I can also help you to like come up with the name of what you call your discovery call. So just comment down below, clarity, and I'll reach out to you with the link about the niche. Because ultimately, especially when you're online, the more clarity that you have, the more streamlined your process is going to be, and the more committed clients that you're going to attract. Okay, so that's probably I would say the first step. Of you need, do you have a clear statement of how you get these people onto your calendar? If not, I can help. All right. So I hope this is helpful. So how do you increase the effectiveness of showing up? Right. Stop calling it a discovery call. Basically, you want to demonstrate the value of what they get out of this call, so that they see that they're committed. They this is what they want. And number two is you want to have some pre-built qualification question onto your calendar system. And number three is you wanted to make sure that、um, it's not an easy access, right? So if you're having conversation with someone who might seem interested, then those are the type of people who get your calendar. Everybody else, you build that relationship first, and the way that you build that relationship is what I'm gifted at because my whole goal, my gift, is really how do you build that value and creating your online presence, your marketing, really demonstrating that value. Before they even jump onto the call with you, because by the time they jump onto the call with you, I really want it to be a yes, a hundred percent yes for you, rather than oh I'll think about it, oh maybe yes, I gotta check with my husband and things like that. So that is my goal, and that's where I'm gifted at. So if you need my help in clarifying your niche, drop in the comment clarity, and I we can work on that. Until then, we'll chat about another topic and area that might help you to. Get your business moving forward. I'll see you soon. Bye.